Hey guys, it's Kristen, and today I thought it'd be really fun to do a mini haul of some comic books and things that I picked up from Midtown Comics recently. Um, it's not a lot of stuff, but I just thought some of it was really cool, and I wanted to share it with you guys. So the first thing I picked up was this Afterlife with Archie, issue number five. These are the same comic book. This one is just a variant with Veronica, and this is the regular cover. I love Afterlife with Archie. This series is written by Roberto Aguirre Sacasa, I hope that I did not butcher that, and drawn by Francisco Francavilla. And this series is really cool because it shows the Archie gang in a zombie apocalypse type situation. So it's really dark, the art is really cool. Let me show you a little bit. It's just really like dark and kind of, I don't even know, really unique, I think. So again, this is the fifth issue. I've been reading them um, recently. They come out kind of sporadically, like I feel like they come out once a month. Uh, I wish they came out more because they're really, really cool and interesting and it's just cool to see the Archie gang in a different light. Sometimes I feel like people think about Archie comics and they don't take them seriously and I feel like this is a really different, you know, unique story that I love. Alright, moving on. I also picked up the new Silver Surfer number 2 comic book written by Dan Slott and I believe it was also written by Michael Allred and art drawn by Laura Allred. And I love Dan Slott. He is my favorite Spidey writer and I'm excited about his new project, Silver Surfer. I really liked the first issue but I felt like it left off on a cliffhanger so I'm excited to read this next issue. I just really love this art. I think it looks so colorful and interesting. So yeah, I picked that up. I also found something really exciting. You guys know that I love comic book adaptations of movies. I found this Punisher comic! It is the Punisher movie special, the official comics adaptation of the spectacular new movie. So I thought this was pretty cool. Actually, when I went to go pay at the cash register, the cashier was like, oh my god, that's pretty awesome. Where did you find that? And I was like, oh, you know, just found it somewhere. <laughs> so I'm really excited about this to add to my collection. Some comic book stores also have little comic books in the front of the store that are just free that you can pick up. So I got this one, The Amazing Spider-Man. Who am I? Who am I? I'm Peter Parker. And so Jameson, you see it's true. This man bears no more guilt than you. Who am I? Who am I? I'm Spider-Man. Yeah, I don't know, it just reminds me of Les Mis. Who am I? Who am I? I'm Jean Valjean. And then I spotted these and I thought they were really cute and I just had to pick one up. And it is these little Marvel Money World micro mini things, these little toys. They are Marvel do-it-yourself superheroes and you can make your own Marvel money with mystery stickers and accessories inside. So these are the options. You can get Thor, the Hulk, Captain America, or Iron Man. And then there's also Wolverine, Dr. Octopus, Spider-Man, and Venom. So I was maybe hoping to get Venom or Spider-Man or the Hulk or something like that, but I mean I like all of these heroes so I was gonna be excited about whatever I got. So I opened it already because I could not control myself. I needed to know what was inside. And they come in this little packaging, which I opened already. And you get a little money, so this is what they look like. He's really small, and look, you can move his arms. Doodly doodly doo. So I thought that was pretty cute. And it comes with some stickers and a little square thing. So this is a square thing or rectangular thing, and these are the stickers that it comes with. I was looking on the box to see like what the instructions are for how to decorate these. What it looks like to me is that you can kind of do whatever you want. So this is what he's supposed to look like, and I'm going to try to make this happen, but uh, I'm seeing a lot of extra pieces that I don't see on this dude, so I'm going to just wing it and see what I come up with. 
sounds like a plan, man. Alright, well he's complete. I hope that he looks alright. He uh, has a lot of different stickers on him. I didn't even use all of them. I think there was a lot of stickers that you could choose to either make him Iron Man or Tony Stark, but I wanted him to be both because technically he is. Iron Man is Tony Stark. So, ta-da! I put him in a nice little bow tie and his little face and his mask is up so you can see him and uh, he's got a battery pack right in the back of his head, because I don't know why, why not? And he has a cute little briefcase that says, I heart Stark Industries. I'm not good at putting on stickers, that is so not even on top of the briefcase the right way. Let's try this again. Ta-da! Okay, so, that was fun. I'm gonna put this on my desk somewhere. That was everything that I picked up this week. I hope you enjoyed and if you want to see more videos like this one just give this video a thumbs up so I know that you like them and I can make more of them. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out my social media links in the description box below and subscribe if you haven't already. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. See ya!